Around eight years ago, Boeing introduced its new revolutionary plane, the 787-9, and also the 737 MAX 8. These were the two new revolutionary aircraft of the future. It was a good aircraft, 737 MAX had good fuel efficiency, and so did the 787-9. But there's been lots of speculation this year of the new 797. Today in this video I will be telling you all the rumors and speculation about the new Boeing 797 and if they're true or not and in total if the new Boeing 797 is really worth all this hype. Stay tuned in this video as a lot of information will be dropped. We can all admit that we've heard something about the 797 right now and it's called it causing a lot of speculation. But an article held by Airline Ratings say that Boeing will launch its new 797 plane all passengers will love next year at the Paris Air Show, say marketing leading analysts. The twin island 240 to 270 seat new mid-market airplane NMA or Boeing 797 is widely expected to be introduced at the Paris Air Show in July says Edward Ambrose of Seeking Alpha. But are these rumors true and do they really play out? Well, it seems like according to most websites that this rumor is essentially true. So today in this video, we'll cover some of the main aspects that we'll bring to this new 797. Right. Boeing did release a new introdu introduction about their new aircraft. It seems rather odd that Boeing just give us a whole new fleet of aircraft that they've created. Like first of all, they did release the new 787-8, 9 and 10 and the 737 MAX. And it was even more unusual that they were doing an introductional video to the 777X which is supposed to be the plane of the future. But it does seem rather odd to me that they are now releasing a new plane called the 797 just like that. It seems like they're releasing so many planes and seeing if the rumors are true. I don't know about that but let's keep going further in this video to see if these rumors are to spare. So is this new 797 really worth the hype? I certainly think it does because articles everywhere are hyping about this. Videos are being posted all around YouTube. So this is why right now I'm going to mention five new features that this 797 will have. So, tune in. Number one, 260 seat passenger plane. Number two, new fuel efficient GEO 9X engines. Number three, more economy leg space with huge circular cabin. Number four, plane will have a range of 5,000 nautical miles. And lucky last, the plane will have a completely new 2x32C configuration. Some of those features might have been quite a shock to some of you, but honestly, I don't find a single problem with this. The 2x32C configuration is a bit weird, and the, nautical, and the range of nautical miles is also weird, but Boeing made a statement that this would be a new mid-haul plane, which means it wouldn't necessarily do long-haul flights, which is a bit of a disappointment, but honestly, the 797 sounds like a really cool new plane. Summarizing the whole thing, Boeing's all new commercial jetliner will have two variants. The 228 seat 797-6X with a range of 5,000 nautical miles and the 268 seat 797-7X with a range of 4,200 nautical miles. Delta United Norwegian and Airlies Corporation are considered potential customers to receive the aircraft from 2025. Despite all of this matter, the 797 is only set to be released maybe in 2020, late 2020 or late 2021. So this will take time for with all the rumors, but honestly, I cannot wait for this new plane. Remember to like, subscribe and share. I am a new channel. My name is Talk Aviation. I will talk about any thing to do with aviation, so like explain simulators, FSX, latest airline deliveries, you name it. On that, thank you for watching my video on 797s, and I will have a new video to spend next week.